this video is sponsored by Fanatic.dk. What is going on guys? Dr. Joe here and I'm back again with another awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Today we're opening, yes you guessed it, another Code of the Duelist booster box. And hopefully, as always, we get a little, I don't know, a little thing called Firewall Dragon, hopefully. So before I start the video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! product openings. And we shall find ourselves another firewall dragon. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get my hopes up too high for this box. Wasn't even expecting to pull it in the last one, so it's actually pretty insane. Yeah, going for the, uh, the right lane as always. Seems like that's my lucky lane, so. Let's see what we can pull in this first pack. So, for the first card of this box, we have a Aram. Or Aru. A Aram? Aram? Yeah. <laughs> These Yu Gi Oh names, man. They are so hard to pronounce at this point. Like, they are doing some really crazy stuff with these names of the cards. Heavy Storm Duster, nice. Very awesome super rare to get. Yeah, some uncommons. I mean comments that we're not really not really gonna spend too much time on those. I don't want to make the videos too long. I know you guys wanna see all the awesome cards. Go key rematch. Yep. And in this pack, we have a DDD Wave High King Caesar. Haven't actually pulled too many of those, I think five in total. So, and considering it being a super rare, it's actually not that many, so. And in this pack, you guys, we have a Trickstar Holly Angel. Nice. Yeah, I pulled quite a number of those. But, can you ever get too many of this card? I don't think so. Maybe. Just maybe. But, it's a nice card, so I'm happy I pulled that one. A Ip, the World Chalice Priestess Super Rare. So, hopefully, the secret rares are in different parts of the box, because it kind of sucks knowing that we're not going to get another secret rare for part two, but... That's just how it goes. Mantis, and back to the front. <clears throat> That's actually, uh, again, as I've said before, a very nice trap card. It's gonna see a lot of play, I think. So in this pack, you guys, we have a Lumina Twilight Sworn Shaman. Nice. I actually think that we got our play set down for this one now. Very awesome secret rare to pull. Cannot complain about a pull like that. Very welcome indeed. So you guys, for this next pack we have a Goki the Great Ogre Super Rare. Yeah, not too shabby of a Super Rare, but when you get a Super Rare in every, you know, pack almost, then start to lose a little bit of the flair that they used to have, but I kind of feel like I'd rather have a super rare per box, or I mean per uh, per pack, because it's just cool to get foils. It's very nice. So, Cardina, nice. I think we have a playset down for her now as well. Very awesome indeed. Oh, there we go. Let's get you down here on the bench, Cardina. So. Last pack of this part of the opening, guys. Let's see what we can get. Another Ip. Yeah, we got quite a number of her, so. Yeah, overall, I'd say this first half of the box is how I actually like it. Two super rare, I mean two uh, ultra rares and one secret rare, which is, you know, very nice. Keeps the, the box opening a bit fresh, so we don't have to be like, 
uh, we're not gonna get another secret rare. So yeah, overall, until now, first part of the box, very awesome indeed. So on that note, that's it for this part of the video, guys. Please remember to thumbs up, comment, share, all that good stuff, you know the drill. It helps other people find it my channel, and it makes it possible for me to do more videos for you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe.